Hello, Brian, are you there? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Are you at home already? Yes. I'm in the school. That is nice. So how was your day? All right, so good evening, uh, Jacqueline. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Jacqueline? How are you today? Todo bien. Todo bien? How was Ay, work? Descansando todavía. Ah, really? Yes. yes. Ah, okay. That is cool. So at least you're like, yeah, I mean, yet resting. That's that's nice. That's really cool. Right, just getting ready right for. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> for tonight's class. All right. So we're just gonna wait for the rest of your classmates to get connected just to start. I mean, this is nice. So welcome guys to another video conference. One more and we have already finished this module. Man, time is, I mean, time has flown so fast. Vaya que el tiempo ha ido súper rápido, right? Uh, básicamente siento que acabamos de comenzar el módulo and we have already finished basically the module, right? That is nice. Yeah, it's nice to nice. Nice to, to be done, right? That is great. So, it's good that you still, uh, that you are still resting, uh, Jacqueline, right? Uh, what about you, Guillermo? How was your day? Mm, it was awful. <laughs> <laughs> really? Why? Yes. I have a lot of work to do. Really? Yes. Um, yeah. All right. So it was today probably was one of those days in which you don't want to spend more, right? And you just like, ah, oh, I mean, I'm expecting tomorrow not to be like today. Exactly. <laughs> nah, man, it happens. It happens. Right? Well, but it's good, man. At least the, the day has finished. The job has finished, right? And that is nice. All right. Give me one second, guys. One of your classmates got problems to get connected. Mm. Give me one second. There you go. So as I said, guys, basically this is going to be the last topic, I guess, that we're going to be practicing because tomorrow we are just going to have general feedback and practice uh, related to the topics that we have been discussing this week. So Basically, that's like pretty much what we got for tomorrow, right? Besides the um, satisfaction survey. But remember, we are going to be working like the whole topics, right? Just tomorrow. And now we're going to be discussing the last topic 
for this module. So let me see. Before starting with that, I am going to start with the attendance list. So let me see. Adi Beatriz. Adi is busy. Ana Cristina. It's also busy. Brian Aldair. Present teacher. All right, great. Carlos Antonio. Is Carlos his? All right, so Carlos is not here. Carlos Enrique. Okay, not even him. Claudia Marcela. All right, so she's not here. Doris Alejandra. Doris, Doris, Doris. All right, so she's not here. Evelyn Karina. Present teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Graciela Saray. Hmm. All right, so she's not here yet. Guillermo Eduardo. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Irma del Tránsito. Hmm. All right, so it's not here yet. Jacqueline Yvonne. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Uh, Juan Carlos. I am here, teacher. Okay, perfect. Katia Maria. Oh, Katia told me that she's going to get connected late. Kenya Maricela. All right, so Kenya is not here. Maritza Elizabeth. All right, so Maritza is not here yet. Marvin Alexander. Present, teacher. Okay, excellent. Pedro Rigoberto. All right, Pedro is there, but probably is working. Rosalie Yvonne. Present. Okay, excellent. Susana Carolina. I am in she's there as a listener. Nice. And Teresa Noemi. Present. Okay, perfect. All right, guys. Let's start with something like a little bit uh, common that we generally do at the beginning of every class, right? And it's basically to talk a little about uh, to talk a little bit about what we were doing the previous class so guys what do you remember from last class what do you remember that we were doing yesterday night in the last class guys what comes to your mind when i'm asking this we talk about the imperatives to provide directions. Okay, excellent. So we were talking about imperatives to provide directions. Excellent. What else do you remember, guys? We we review the the users going through ah, and, okay. the, and the main topic imperatives and preposition of place. Okay, so we were using prepositions, right? To ask and provide directions, right? Very good. Very good. What else do you remember, guys, that we were doing during the class? Besides the main topic? What else, guys, do you remember? What was the last activity that you were doing? Did you remember the last activity? Evelyn, for example, 
Do you remember what were you doing at the end of the class? Uh, do you got an idea about what we were doing? Uh, review from previous topics, imperatives, and vocabulary. Review. Ah, okay. So that was uh, part of what we were doing, right? Good. And uh, very good. Thank you, Evelyn. What about the activity, the last activity that we were doing? What was that about? Uh, let me see who was here. Marvin? Yeah, Marvin. Um, the activity, the, the math, the... The direction. Ah, the activity was about about uh, providing directions, right? Yes. Okay, cool. If you remember, you were drawing a map, you were putting a specific places, right? And at the end, you were providing directions, right? You seen uh, uh, the topic, in this case, uh, the imperatives, right? To provide directions. Okay, that was basically, guys, part of what we were doing last class. Good. Now, let me show you what we are going to be doing tonight. Sure. I'm sorry, uh, I have a question. Yeah, Juan, go on. Uh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo podemos saber si realmente no hemos cumplido el 80% de asistencia? La asistencia. Correcto. ¿Cómo podemos saber? ¿No nos van a llamar? ¿No van a enviar el algo? No sé. De hecho, sí. Por lo general, siempre mandan una notificación. Right? Eh, si, no sé si, si, si en su caso ha pasado, pero creo que en la mayoría, cuando ustedes no se conectan una, a una clase, por lo general, el siguiente día siempre les llaman para preguntar el por qué no se conectó y todo y hacerles el recordatorio de que el conectarse y pues los minutos son bastante necesarios, right? Pero de acuerdo a mi lista acá, Juan, en su caso, por ejemplo, give me one second. Juan Carlos Fuentes. Ya, yeah, Juan, en su caso eh, no tendría ningún problema. Ya tiene el 88%, 88 de okay. asistencia. Right. Entonces, okay. sí, ya tiene más del 80% de la asistencia. Right. Eh, la media anda por el 80%. Hay algunos que tienen 67%. Hay unos que sí están bastante bajos. Eh, pero eh, es por el motivo de que, pues no se han conectado y a veces pues digamos uh, cuando estamos en una situación en la que sabemos que tal vez no vamos a participar lo ideal es conectarse right para que los minutos les puedan contar y así de cierto modo right aunque no estén participando en la clase pero luego ustedes pueden eh, ver el video right a través de, de la plataforma o a través de YouTube Right. Entonces, pero ya por lo menos los minutos les han contado. Hay algunos que pues han faltado bastante y eso sí, andan algunos que tienen un 54%, entonces ahí es bien complicadito ya. Y hay inclusive algunos, bueno, no, no, no muchos, pero sí ya, un 43%, o sea, ya ahí es bien complicado ya llegar. Pues ya solo falta esta clase y mañana. Right. Evelyn. Mm -hmm. You want to say something? Yes, sí, in my case, teacher, I had three three nights, but I notified and no, no me, no me nada, pero no sé cómo estaré con la asistencia. All right, give me one second, Evelyn. No, es que el, digamos, ahí, digamos que anda dentro de lo, digamos, normal. Ni aún, usted ahorita tiene un 75% de asistencia. Right. Básicamente okay. con lo generado de esta noche y mañana, 
llegan a la meta, por así decirlo. Right? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. That is, that is, that's like the way. Right? Entonces, agregado a eso, recuerden que aquí lo más importante son, bueno, digamos, son tres factores. Así de simple. Uno, la asistencia. Right? Cumplir como mínimo con el 80% de la asistencia. Segundo, las tareas de la plataforma. Right? Tener todo en la plataforma. Y tercero, la encuesta que vamos a hacer mañana. Right? Ustedes pueden tener las tareas y la asistencia, pero si ustedes no se someten a la, a la, a la encuesta de satisfacción, ustedes no pueden moverse al segundo, a, al siguiente, al siguiente módulo. Right? Entonces tienen que ser las tres, sí o sí. Right? So, esperaría que mañana sí, guys, se conecten todos, inclusive los que están como oyentes, eh, que generalmente, eh, no sé si ahora es por cambio de trabajo, solo que no, sea, no se nos ha notificado, pero hay algunos que ya tienen bastantes días de estar como oyentes, entonces si no sé si es que es por algún cambio de trabajo o, o no quieren participar o, o I don't know why, pero no, no han notificado el por qué siempre han estado de oyentes, entonces para mañana sí o sí, eh, tienen que, tienen que, este, en Mostrar pro su cara. de, exactly, en pro de seguir con la, con, con el siguiente módulo, tienen que hacer sí o sí la, la encuesta de satisfacción, right, para evitar los inconvenientes, porque igual, eh, si no la hacen para el día siguiente, ya van a estar recibiendo llamadas del de equipo de Insafor, right, entonces, eh, de inglés corporativo, pero en este caso, para saber el por qué no lo han hecho y pues, recordarles que sí es necesario el, 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 el poderla hacer, porque si no, no se van a mover para el siguiente módulo. Right? So I expect uh, they to be uh, in the class tomorrow, ya que pues es la última, right? Good. Así que así están las cosas, right? Y con lo de la plataforma es sencillo el, el poder saber, guys, este, cuánto porcentaje tienen. No sé ustedes si ya saben cómo identificar cuánto porcentaje tienen en la plataforma. No, teacher. No saben cómo uh, averiguar eso en la plataforma. Va, ahorita se lo, ahora se los voy a enseñar. Eh, give me one second. I don't know why this internet is getting as low. All right. The second is. All right. Un método, bueno, aquí la, la opción más eh, sencilla de poder identificar cuánto porcentaje nosotros tenemos es en esta parte. Bueno, acá es la parte de los cursos, es donde comúnmente ustedes entran y desarrollan las actividades. Ahora, acá a la par tienen la opción de progreso. Cuando le dan ahí, les va a aparecer una barras. Les va a aparecer así. Right. Les va a aparecer así. Ahora, esta es una, es una barra de progreso general. Aquí tenemos homework 1, dice acá, pero aquí en realidad es semana 1. Homework 2 sería semana 2. Homework 3, semana 3. Homework 4, semana 4. Right? Entonces, acá ustedes tienen que tener una media del 100%. Acá, al menos aquí el homework promedio, si ustedes ya completaron todas las tareas, aquí tendría que tener igual 100%. Acá el midterm, como ya lo hicieron, igual el porcentaje que obtuvieron. El final se refiere al examen final y el total, pues, que este sería básicamente el que se toma en cuenta para sacar el porcentaje total. Ahora bien, si nos queremos ir de manera un tanto específica, aquí está ya seccionado. Va, por ejemplo, acá tenemos lo de la unidad 1 que decía Compa Company Identity. Right? Entonces acá 
si se fijan en esta parte, es 0 de 20, 0 de 20, 0 de 20. Hay cinco tareas, de la 1 a la 5. Todas están 0 de 20 porque yo no he trabajado la plataforma. Entonces, ¿qué quiere decir? Ustedes acá deberían de tener 20 de 20 en las cinco primeras tareas de la semana 1. 20 de 20. Entonces, aquí ustedes fácilmente pueden identificar si, por ejemplo, en la última tarea ustedes tienen 90 de, eh, digamos, a I mí, mean, un 15 de 20 o un 16 de 20, significa que en esa tarea o en ese, de ese día ustedes se equivocaron en algo, right Igual en la unidad 2, si se fijan en la unidad 2, está dividida. Tiene las tareas que irían de la 6 a la 10, y también está la puntuación del examen, el midterm, el que hicieron en la segunda semana. Ahí están las cuatro opciones, que son 0 de 25. Aquí igual, ustedes deberían de tener 25 de 25, right En las cuatro opciones, para completar un 100%, right Y así sucesivamente. Acá, como yo trabajé, creo que fue eh, para explicarles una, una, una parte de una tarea, por eso me aparece 8 de 20 acá, right y así sucesivamente. Tenemos la unidad 3 y acá la unidad 4 en la que estamos ahorita, que igual tendrían que tener 20 de 20. Y acá en el final exam, si no lo han hecho, pues les va a aparecer así como yo lo tengo, pero si ya lo hicieron o lo tienen a la mitad, aquí les va a aparecer el porcentaje, que sería 25 de 25. Tendría que aparecerles una vez lo hagan. Entonces esta es la forma... Eh, cómo nosotros podemos identificar cuál es el progreso que llevamos. Y si hay alguno que no está, pues, de 20 de 20, es porque en esa tarea específicamente se han equivocado en algunas, al, algunas respuestas. Right? Entonces, Teacher, pero pues, fíjese que en la, en la tarea 2 de la última unidad, hay una que siempre me la marca mala, fíjese. ¿En la tarea 2 de la última unidad? Sí. Vaya, perfecto. Vamos a revisar antes de comenzar con el tema. Y me voy a hacer. ¿Qué es la tarea 17? ¿Cuál es el en la... Es la número 4. Es la que hicimos hace dos pero, días con el pero, teacher. Pero esa es la que hicimos hace dos días. Guillermo, siempre le aparece, mire, esta es la forma en cómo tiene que quedarle. Ah, por eso era. Yes. Ahí eh, creo que a los, a, los, a los que pusieron la respuesta en la plataforma se les pasó, se les, eh, que tenían que eliminar el you. <ríe> Agréguele Ajá. you. You are going to house. Right? Okay. Para que ya le aparezca yeah. como bien. Ya, ya me apareció. Gracias. Yes. A veces sí, a veces uno hay que, hay que poner una y mil cosas ahí para ver cuál es la correcta, right? A veces suele ser sí. un puntito, a veces suele ser una, uh, un espacio que tenemos, right? Y en este caso era un U adicional. Ok, thank you. There you go. Ok, good. So, let's continue. Now I'm going to show you. All right, yeah, this is the one what we are going to be discussing tonight, guys. All right, so it says, the topic, guys, that we are going to be discussing tonight is how to use get and go, right? How to use get and go, right? And this one is going to be applied to means of transportation, right? Uh, when you hear these verbs, guys, go is normally, right? Ir, but get, do you know that verb? Como de tener. Mm, tener? Mm. O tomar, digamos. Actually, si lo, vamos a, si lo vamos a traducir al español, get sería, o se traduce comúnmente como conseguir u obtener. Right? Esas serían como las dos traducciones comúnmente aplicadas a get, obtener o conseguir. Right? Ahora bien, 
pero get se puede utilizar de muchas maneras, right? Get inclusive se puede utilizar con adjetivos. Por ejemplo, get happy, get sad, get sick, right? Y también se puede aplicar en el contexto de, uh, digamos, de llegar a un lugar, que es justamente el contexto en el que lo vamos a ver esta noche, right? That's the context that we are going to take in consideration, right, for this class. All right, guys, remember, if you are not understanding something throughout the explanation, please don't hesitate, turn on the microphone and ask, okay? Now, what is the most relevant that we are going to be discussing throughout this class? Well, we're going to have a short review from the previous topic, something that we just did. And you told me that we were discussing uh, uh, imperatives, right? And besides that, we were uh, doing uh, uh, some activities related to uh, providing and getting directions, right? And uh, after that, uh, we're going to be talking a little bit about means of transportation. When you hear this expression, means of transportation, what do you think is that about? What is means of transportation? Medio de transporte. Ah, okay, very good. That is basically means of transportation. Okay, after that, we're going to mention some of them. After that, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be working... Uh, and uh, providing examples related to the uh, uses of go. And then we're going to uh, be discussing the uses of get in this context. You guys are going to provide a couple of examples. And then we're going to be working in some exercises there in the manual, right? So basically, this is pretty much what we have for the rest of the class. So let's start over. Means of transportation, right? When we talk about means of transportation, guys, what it comes to your mind? ¿Qué medios de transporte se les viene a la mente cuando hablamos de ello? Mm, car. Ajá, uh -huh. cars. Plane. Bicycle. All right, plane, bicycle. Train. Plane, okay, very good. We got a uh, boat, the variety, right? Bus. By boat, exactly. Very nice. Taxi. Aha, uh -huh, by taxi. We got some of them, right? Mm -hmm. here. The first one is train, right? Something that here in the country we don't have, but it is a means of transportation, very common in other countries, right? All right, we got car, as you said. After that, we got a plane, right? By plane, that's another very important means of transportation. Motorcycle, right? So we got that one as a means of transportation. Subway, you know what is a subway, guys? You know what is that? Subway? El metro. El metro, exactly, right? That's subterráneo, what it is. no? Yes, porque va subterráneo. Exactly. That's what it is. But. Exactly, that's another one. Recuerden, cuando hablamos de subway, no hablamos de la comida, right? No hablamos del lugar de la comida. <laughs> Medio transporte. There you go. All right, so we got another one. Truck. What is truck, Evelyn? A truck is a big car. Camion. Camion. All right. Very good. Helicopter. That's another one. Right? Taxi. Right? We got another one. Bicycle. Right? También lancha. Uh, oh, yeah. Boat. Oh, you can call it a this. Ship. You know what is a ship? Okay. Ship means barco. 
right? That's what it is. Very good. So basically, this is just a couple of uh, means of transportation. There are more, but uh, these ones are like the most common ones, right? Like the, the ones that we generally use. Why I am mentioning the means of transportation, guys? Because we are going to continue uh, the practice about giving and getting directions, but now with a different approach. Now we're going to be using go and get. And I'm going to explain how to use them in context, of course. All right, so this is sort of like the most common, right? Means of transportation. Now, let's move. So examples. All right, Juan, help me out reading this question. How can I get to the April? Okay, very good. How can I get to the airport? Bien dije que get significaba obtener o conseguir, right? Pero acá, Juan, if I tell you, Juan, translate this question for me. ¿Cómo la traduciría usted, Juan? ¿Cómo puedo llegar al aeropuerto? Exactly. So you see, now get ha tomado otro enfoque okay. diferente. Ahora ya no es conseguir, sino... Llegar, right? So take a look at this way. Uh, let me see who can help me out with this. Teresa, can you please help me out reading the answer? Yeah, you need to go by car, take the main road to the gas for three kilometers. No sé si es kilometers. Okay, to the west for three kilometers. Okay, gracias. All right, very good. Thank you to you. So it says you need to go by car, right? So ahí estamos eh, eh, usando, right, el medio de transporte. We are mentioning the means of transportation, right? Uh, you need to go by car. Y aquí ya comienza como el imperative, right, o la instruction to follow. Take the main road to the west for three kilometers, right? Ah, tome la calle principal hacia él. What is west? What is west, guys? Este. A el este. Are you sure? Are you sure, Juan? Mm. Ya me hizo dudar, <laughs> Actually, it's actually, it's the opposite one. East is este. West yes. is oeste. Oeste, exactly. O como comúnmente acá lo conocemos, poniente. <laughs> People says like that here. All right? So basically, that's the way how we got it here. West, right? West. Basically, we got that as an instruction, right? So, and we got a normal sentence here. Check this out. I go to work. By foot. Mm. What do you think I am trying to say there, guys? ¿Qué creen que estoy queriendo decir en esa oración? Yo voy al trabajo a pie. A pie. Okay, very good. By foot or on foot. That might be another way, right? So in that case, that's what it means. Very nice. So let's move on. Maritza, help me read in the next one. She get to the branches early because they go by cart. Okay, thank you. Check this out. She gets to the branches early because she, uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Do, 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 do. Give me one second, guys. Aquí esto no tiene que estar acá. Exactly. No, no. exactly. I got wrong there. Ya estaba viendo de más anoche. Aquí sería she. She. Like that. She gets to the branches early because she goes by car. Okay. Right. So basically, now we are getting an idea, guys, how to use get 
and how to use go into a sentence. Creo que aquí ya vamos teniendo la noción de cómo usar get y cómo usar go en una oración. Right? Now you might uh, get an idea. Check that out. Mm. She gets to the branches early because she goes by car. Right. Vamos a explicar, uh, I mean, like in a brief way, exactly how to use get and how to use go. But for now, copy that, guys. And we got another one over here. I am going to go to the hospital by taxi, right? So in that case, I am mentioning the means of transportation that I am going to use, right? To do that action. So that's the way how we get it, guys, right? Nice. Try to copy that, guys. And then let me know when you finish, okay? Give me a second. I need to clear up my nose. All right, sorry guys. I got problems with my nose. Every time I get sick, I got blocked my nasal <laughs> cavities. So I got to clean them up. Okay. Good, so did you finish uh, copying this? Have you finished copying that, guys? <laughs> Perfect. Yes, it is. Nice, nice, nice. Now, oh, let's move on. All right, check this out, guys. Go by. Ta -da -da. We got a short definition about this. Guillermo, help me on reading, please. Mm, go by. Use go by to specify the means of, transport, of transportation. You use for you use from point A to point B. Okay, very good. Thank you, Mister. So listen up, guys. Use go by, right, to specify the means of transportation you use from point A to point B. Right. ¿Qué quiere decir esto? Que básicamente cuando usamos go nos referimos a la acción de movernos de un punto A a un punto B. The action of movement, okay? From one point to another one. For example, it can be point A, it can be your house, to point B, to the work or to, to the office, to the place where you work, right? So the movement, the action of movement, it is, Right, like the way how you use go. Give me one second. All right, Irma, thank you for letting me know. All right, so let's take a look at a couple of examples. Check that out, guys. You can say go by bus, go by car, by plane, by food, right? This is la formas, son las formas de como nosotros podemos mencionar, right? el medio de transporte que nosotros usamos para llegar a nuestro destino. Right? Good. So, are you guys uh, understanding? Are we getting clear about how to use go? Are we understanding? Vamos comprendiendo? Yes, it's true. Okay, very good. Give me one second. My God, this person has problems to get connected. Anyways, let's continue. Check that out. So here we can put one example into context. Uh, 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 let me see. Marvin, help me out reading this example. 
I go to work by bus. Okay, thank you. So you see, I got to work by bus. Nice. Jacqueline. Uh, she goes to San Miguel by car. Okay, there you San go. San Miguel by car. San Miguel okay. by car. There you go. Thank you. So you see, she goes to San Miguel by car, right? Ah, uh, what does it mean there? Ah, ella va a San Miguel en carro, right? So is the action sure. movement, right? Yeah, one. O sea que el go es como el inicio de una acción. Exactly. Acción de movimiento. Acción de moverse de un punto A a un punto B. O sea que imagino que el get será el movimiento como concreto de llegada. Es la acción de llegada. Exactly. That's the way. You're getting into it. Okay. There you go. Now, let's take a look at this one. Rosalie, help me a reading, please. The group goes to Mexico by plane. Okay, very good. There you go. So you see, the, actually, Jesus Christ, I'm just making a lot of mistakes. Give me one second. Teacher, right? era the group. Mm, nah. Exactly. Creo que la, el efecto de la medicina ya me tiene todo más raro de lo normal. <laughs> Sorry, guys, for the mistakes. I have not feeling well lately. So that's the reason why I got those, those mistakes. Oh, my God. Nah, anyways, let's continue. The group goes to Mexico by plane. There you go, guys. Now, guys, I ask you, how do you go to work? What, are, what is the means of transportation that you generally need when you go to work? Guillermo, in your case? I go to my work by, by car. Ah, okay, you go to work by car. There you go. What about you, Juan? Juan, you got your microphone off. <laughs> um... I prefer uh, taxi. <laughs> ah, you go to work by taxi? Yes. All right. Why, why taxi, man? Um, the company uh, lo permite. Allows you? Yes. And um, because uh, I, rest, I rest all the way. Mm, okay. That was, makes sense. Yeah, 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 because I was like thinking, hmm, but if he, if he goes to work uh, by taxi, it means it is going to be a little bit more expensive because you have to be spending uh, money on taxi all the way up. But since you said, all right, you have time to, to rest all the yes. way. Eh, and you, ha you don't have to get stressed because of the traffic, right? You yes. avoid the stress of traffic. Okay, good. How do, you, how do you say es una regalía? No, nah, it's a free, it's something free. Okay. Ah, you, a... from, from the company? Yes. Ah, okay, so man, in that case, no problem. <laughs> it's <laughs> no, better cool. for you. It's yes. something even better for you because you don't have like to spend uh, more money specifically on that. That's cool. That's nice, man. All right, cool. What about you, Maritza? I go to work by bus. Ah, you gotta go by bus. All right, you gotta go work by bus. Okay, nice. Evelyn? Mm, I go to work by bus. Okay, by bus as well. All right, nice. Rosalie? I go to work by motorcycle. Ah, you ride a motorcycle? Get. Ah, I mean, that's cool. That's nice. Right? That is great. Yeah, I mean, I like going to work by bicycle, I mean, by motorcycle as well. 
Solo que ahora, últimamente, bueno, ayer y ahora no, porque yo así como que, oh my God, I have to spend more on gasoline. Because the thing is that in here, yesterday morning and today morning, it was raining in the morning. It was raining. Yesterday, rain. rain. Ah, but Ajá, uh -huh. and here it was yesterday and it was today also. And I was like, ah, I mean, I don't, have, I don't want to get the car, but since I am sick, I cannot get wet. Because if it is raining and I'm riding my motorcycle and I am sick, I will end up in the hospital. <laughs> I'm very weak, man. When, when I get wet, uh, when it's raining, I mean, I get sick very easily. All right, well, that's cool, that's cool. Brian, how do you get to work? Um, I go to work uh, by bus. <laughs> bus, okay, well, that's nice, that's nice, by bus. Yeah. Marvin? What about you, Marvin? I, I go to work by car. Mm, okay, very good. There you go. Teresa, and you? I go to work by bus. Ah, okay. Nice. Nice. Jacqueline? Are you there, Jacqueline? Um, ¿qué estamos? <laughs> I'm so I, I got problems with my throat. No, I mean, what is the means of transportation that you use to go to work? Uh, I go, I go, I, I go B. I go uh, to work. And my car, the father. Ah, you go to work on your father's car. Yes. By your car. Okay, very good. Um, nice, nice. Let me see who else. All right, creo que ya los demás todos están de oyentes. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. Creo que la media andamos like like in bus and everything, right? Back in the past when I was I was uh going to work by bus, man, a veces uno desarrolla unas habilidades super especiales cuando en el bus. ¿Te acuerdas que cuando <laughs> cuando venía del trabajo, cuando solía venir del trabajo como de Usulután hasta donde yo vivo, right? Que ya prácticamente es entrando a San Miguel, San Miguel en sí, right? Es un viaje como de entre 45 y 50 minutos en bus, right? All the way here. Solía tomar el bus 5 de la tarde en Usulután, right? All the way here. Acá yo venía bajándome del desvío tipo 5, 50, 5.55. A lo que veo es que cuando me sentía bien cansado, me dormía en el bus. Fall asleep. Y no sé, me, uno desarrolla una habilidad, like super, super, que solo, solo los que andamos en bus a veces solemos desarrollar, que justo cuando ya me iba a bajar, me despertaba. Como un chip, man, like, ah, tienes que bajarte. Yeah, man, you know, it's like, como dos cuadras antes del del de vivo, ya, yeah. ya. Yeah. Viendo para, ah, ya me voy a bajar. And I was like that. No, man, that was funny. Lo yeah. bueno cuando hay tráfico, teacher. Se duerme más. Ah, oh, yeah, I mean, exactly. Exactly. Se, se abre los ojos, ve la ventana, ah, falta. Y se vuelve a dormir. Exactly. <laughs> no, back in the past, ¿sabes qué? Sí me ponía batido eh, antes. Era cuando venía, eh, cuando tomaba el bus y veía la zona de Oriente, man, que... Iba una tormenta, pero horrible, horrible, pero da ah, mi buena suerte que encontraba la tormenta, right, like súper fuerte, pero cuando ya me iba a bajar en el desvío donde me tenía que bajar, ya la tormenta había pasado por la zona, right, y así como que, ah, a mí no me voy a bañar, that was, that was even cool, that was even nice, yeah, man. Extraño esos días. <laughs> All right, pero sí, it's it's a uh, it's like kind of abilities that not not everybody develop, pero sí, 
son habilidades que no todos desarrollan, pero vaya que los que sabemos andar en Gucci. <laughs> That's nice. All right, guys. Let's move on. Let's say, go. Check that out. Remember, as we said back in the past, use go to specify the means of transportation or to emphasize the idea of motion, right? So, básicamente aquí, ¿qué estamos hablando? ¿O qué estamos diciendo? Básicamente recapitulando lo que dijimos antes, right? Que aquí usamos go para especificar el medio de transporte, right? Que usamos. And also, to emphasize the idea of motion. ¿Qué significa motion? Moverse, right? De un punto hacia otro. Examples? Right, check that out. We got another one over here. Uh, in here, we don't necessarily have to be like specifying the means of transportation. Like, Evelyn, help me read in that example. I go home after work. Okay, very good. Let's say, ah, me voy a casa después de trabajo. Right? Good. Now, let's take a look at this one. Guillermo. I go to, I go to work at 7 a.m. Okay, excellent. I go to work at 7 a.m. There you go. So we can specify the time, right? If we are going to be talking about a third person in simple present, remember the verb, you had to add ES, like in that example, right? Marvin, help me at reading. She goes to she goes to the beach by car. Okay, very good. She goes to the beach by car, right? Ah, ella va a la playa en carro. There you go. So what are we emphasizing in here? The idea of motion, right? Moving, movement from one place to another place, right? So that's the way how we do it. And ah, yeah, we got another one over here. Let me see. Someone has not participated that much. Graciela, are you going to be as a listener? Or are you there? Graciela. Como listening teacher, es que estoy algo enfermo. Ah, okay. All right. Oh. Let me see someone else. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, tell me. Uh, one part English, other Spanish. Um, ah, okay. No, <laughs> no, no, no matter, no matter donde va el go. No matter what. La oración. Where goes, eh, ¿cómo así? No matter, no matter uh, where. Um, no matter where the, the go is placed. You mean in the sentence? Yes. No, remember, the verb, you have to follow the sequence of the structure. First is the subject. After the subject, it goes the verb. Ok, entonces sigue el patrón de una estructura. Claro que sí, esta estructura, right, es presente simple. En primera y en tercera persona. Aquí lo estamos haciendo en tercera persona. He goes, right? So you see, en este caso siempre vamos a seguir patrones. ¿Cómo así? ¿Cuál es la estructura del presente simple? Recuerde, subject, subject. plus verb, verb, plus complement, right? Complement. Yeah, y si yes. es tercera persona, pues el verbo se modifica. ¿Cómo así? Agregándole la S a la mayoría de verbos o en casos especiales, como el verbo go. Todo verbo, recuerden, que termine en O, en tercera persona singular, se le agrega ES. Right? Just keep mm -hmm. that up. Okay? All right. Good. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Teresa, help me read in the last sentence, please. Hey, teacher. He goes to the room after the check-in. 
Okay, there you go. Thank you. It goes to the room after the check-in. Perfect. Right, so th these are just additional examples, right, about this using go. Now, let's move on. Got another one over here. Marvin, let me read I'm going to go. Um, I I am going to go to the conference by train. Train okay. by train. Very good. Rosalie, you are not going to go to the concert next week. There you go. In here, guys, what is the structure? Can you guys identify what tense? Uh, I am using in this structure. What is the tense I am using in these examples? Future, present, past, progressive. What is it? Progressive. Hmm, progressive. Um, but uh, in future, in future. Ah, uh, como así, Juan? Progressive but in future. Present, no, for future. It's going to, it's going future. To. All right, Be simply as that. It is simple future using be going to, right? Okay. Es el tema que vimos eh, hace dos clases, si no me equivoco. Yeah, two classes ago, right? Yeah. So, nice. Jacqueline, help me ring. Are you going to go to class by four? Okay, cool. In here, it's questions, guys. Are you going to class by foot? Are you going to go to class by foot? Right? If it is positive, yes, I am. If it is negative, no, I'm not, right? Those are like the answers for that possible question, right? With questions like that. And also, we can ask yes, no question. Besides that, information questions like this ones. Where do you go after class? Ah, uh, I go to bed after class. You can say that, right? Because you generally go to bed after you finish classes in here. So it's basically what we uh, sometimes do, right? Good. So, guys, any question up to now? Alguna pregunta hasta acá? Not okay. Nah, okay, very good. All right, copy that, guys. Copying esas oraciones, entonces. Copy that because we now need to go and explain the uses of get. You finish copying that, guys? You finish? Finish. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. 
finish. Okay, nice. I finish. All right, excellent. Now, let's move on. Then. Now, let's get it. Good. One, help me reading. Okay. Um, use get to ask for direction or the emphasize the idea of a river. Emphasize. Emphasize. Yes. All right. There you go. Thank you. It says we use get to ask for directions or to emphasize the idea of arrival. ¿Qué estamos enfatizando acá? La idea de llegar a un lugar, right? So, mientras con go es enfatizar la idea de movimiento de un punto A a un punto B, get enfatizamos la idea de llegar a un lugar, right? To get to that place, right? So, that's the differences between the both, right? So, take a look at these examples. Mm -hmm. Guillermo? I am going to start the class as soon as I get home. Oh, okay, very good. I am going to start the class as soon as I get home. So, literally, I am saying, right? Ah, comenzaré la clase tan pronto llegue a casa. As soon as I get home. Nice. Emily? I head to the office at 8 a.m. Okay, it says I get. I get to the office at 8 a.m. Right? Thank you. So basically here, guys, es básicamente como que yo estuviese diciendo esto. Mire. I arrive to the office at 8 a.m. Es básicamente lo mismo. Right? It's basically the same thing. Good, so we got another one over here. Let me see. This is most of you are, are as a listener. All right, Teresa, you there? Yeah, teacher. Okay, help me reading the last example. She always gets late. No, she always gets late to the meetings because she goes by bus. Okay, very good, because she goes by bus, right? Ah, siempre llega tarde a las reuniones porque viaja o porque va en bus. There you go. So that's the way how we got it, right? How we get it. Good, let's copy that series of examples, guys, before moving on. All right, just let me know when you finish uh, copying those sentences, okay? Give me one second. I'm going to clear up my nose. Give me a second, guys. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Okay. Um, ¿Cómo puedo saber um, en qué momento usar I get um, en lugar de I arrive? Es lo mismo. 
a ah, Rosalí, se pueden utilizar en el mismo contexto. Eh, get en este caso se convierte en un sinónimo de arrive. Right? Y está indicando la acción en que usted, pues, llega, llega a ese lugar. Right? Ahora, en términos de formalidad, sí, claro, vamos a usar arrive como verbo central y no get. Pero si es una normal conversation en la cual no, no tiene que ir muy rígido, right, o muy formal, you can use get. Que comúnmente, okay. yeah, que comúnmente la, cuando, cuando estamos hablando así, like in a normal English conversation, get, uh, it is, is more often in this kind of examples. Get es como más usado. So I think it, it's more for terms of formality that you can use arrive. But if you want to be like, you know, like in a conversation with a person that you think uh, uh, it can be like your friend or nothing really formal, you can use get. All right, you finished, guys? Finished, teacher. Okay. Finished, teacher. All right, very good. All right, okay, great. Now, let's move. Right after this short uh, and brief explanation about the uses of get, now I will suggest you guys to read this ones. Da, da, da. This is just a couple of questions and answers. But it's a help me out reading this question. How can I get to the trade center? Okay, how can I get to the trade center? So what is that? Check this out. One. Do it, mister. Do I go, uh, go straight for three blocks, then to right and go for five blocks? Mm -hmm. The trade center is on the right corner. You can go by foot. Okay, very good. You can go by foot as a suggestion, right? Very nice. So what, I, uh, what have we done in here, guys? We have given a direction, right, about how to get there. Pues básicamente acá hemos dado una dirección de cómo llegar, right, a ese lugar. Good. Check this out. Evelyn? I going to plant a car as soon as I hit to Panama. Okay, repeat the word get, Evelyn. Get. As I get to Panama. Ah, okay, very good, very good. All right, I'm going to rent a car as soon as I get to Panama, right? I mean, rentaré un carro tan pronto llegue a Panama. Very good. Nice, and we got another one. Jacqueline. I usually get home at say six um twenty six thirty. Six thirty. Six 
It's very I am. Okay, very good. I usually get home at 6.30 a.m., right? Ah, usualmente llego a casa a las 6.30 de la mañana. Right? Very good. Good. If I ask you guys, what time do you get home from work? In your case, Guillermo, what time do you get home from work? Mm, I get, I usually get my home at, pero get es llegar, ¿verdad? Correct. I get my home at 3 p.m. Ah, at 3 p.m. Mm, okay. Yes. Yeah. Good. Very good. Uh, let me see who else. Juan, what about you? Mm, I usually arrive at. Um, well, I usually get at 6 a.m. Ah, at 6 a.m.? Ah, yeah, yes. because you got a nice shift, right? <laughs> I mean, that's true. You got a nice shift. I don't remember. That's nice, man. That's nice. All right. Uh, what about you, Evelyn? What time do you usually get home after work? I usually get home at 5 p.m. At 5 p.m. Okay, good. It's not that late. Mm, good, good. What about you, Maritza? I usually get home at 7 p.m. Ooh, at 7 p.m. Yeah, that's a little bit. Okay, okay. What about you, Rosalie? I usually get my home... Um, 6.30 p.m. Okay, at 6.30 p.m. All right, nice. Nice, nice. Marvin? I usually get home at 5.15 p.m. Mm, okay, good. Brian? <clears throat> I usually get uh, home at uh, 7.30 p.m. Perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. Let me see, Jacqueline, what about you? I usually get, get all I five a.m. Mm, 5 a.m.? Yes. <laughs> At 5 de la mañana. Sí. <laughs> si no es que 4 y media. <laughs> uh, you got a night shift? ¿Tiene turno yeah. de noche? Uh, no. Ah, no, llego a la casa. Ajá. Uh -huh. O salgo a la casa. No, no, llega a la casa. Ah. Uh, uh, hey. Hey. Uh, ocho y media. ¿Cómo se dice? Hey, Terry. Hey, PM. Hey, Terry, PM. Yes. Ah, ok. Ok. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit late. Poquito <laughs> Interesting. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Jacqueline. Uh, let me see. Who else? I think they were the only ones in here. Yeah, they were the only ones for practice. Okay, good. Let's move, guys. Now I'm going to stop sharing this. Oh. And let's go to the manual, guys. Let's go straight to the manual. I want you to go to page 45 in the manual. Page 45. Get it all my video. 
Okay, great. So we got this page out, guys. What are we going to do here? Let's start from the very beginning here. And the first thing that you are going to identify, it's this. It says, find the 10 means of transportation from the box in the word search. ¿Qué me van a hacer acá? Listen. Vamos a buscar este vocabulario que tenemos acá. En esa, en esa, uh, right, puzzle, we're going to do it, right? Vamos a identificar dónde está este vocabulario acá. Okay? After you finish with that, guys, después que hayan terminado con ese, vamos a practicar esta pequeña conversación que, pues, ya lo vamos a llevar acá previamente, right, a... Uh, practicado y explicado algunas palabras que a lo mejor no comprendamos. All right, let's take a look at this. Let's read it for a moment because I need you guys to practice this in the breakout rooms. So let's say speaker A says, excuse me, how can I get to the airport? How can I get to the airport? It says speaker B. Well, the airport is very far away. Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi. You can go by taxi. Or you can drive. Or you can drive. Speaker S says, thanks. Thanks. Ooh, I'm going to drive. I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. But I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Is there a car rental near here? A speaker B says, sure. Sure. It's two blocks down. It's two blocks down the street. The street. You can go there by foot. You can go there by foot. Speaker S says, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Very good. And here, guys, in this short conversation, do you have any question? Tenemos alguna pregunta con relación al vocabulario de esa mini conversation? No? Okay, good. If we don't have any mm -hmm. question, I'm gonna stop sharing, guys. Let me see. See, por ahora no vamos a ir a hacer esa tarea. All right, let me see. Uh, I need to know, guys, who is as a listener right now and who is participating. Let me see. Brian, can you participate? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Rosalie, what about you? Can you participate? Rosalie, you there? 
Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, perfect. Teresa. What about you, Teresa? Can you participate? Mm, no, teacher. No? No, no, no. No, no, no. No, okay. But I'm going to include you here anyways. Okay, guys. Let's try to open up the breakout rooms and let's go to work on those exercises that I have already told you. Let's try to enter, guys, to the breakout rooms. Guillermo, you there? Okay, cool. So, Ya regreso, chicas. Voy a, voy a sacar una pastilla que me toca tomar. Y me ah, va... okay. La... Quiero ver. Vamos a ver. Car, ya encontré Car. Car está la penúltima. Ahí, uh -huh. ahí, ahí. No, más ahí. No, no, no. Está al revés. Está de allá, de, de, quiero ver, de derecha a izquierda. De derecha. De derecha a izquierda. Car, car, de derecha. Ahí en la penúltima. No, no. En la penúltima, en la penúltima, en la penúltima. Voy a hacer la, a la penúltima. Ahí, pero de derecha a izquierda. Ah, car. Está igual, plan, que, igual que trae, está al revés. Ah, ok. Plain sí, también. Sí. Está sí. ahí mismo, la penúltima, pero va a ser al final. Ya está. Ahí. No, 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 la penúltima. Ahí, ah. ahí, ahí, ahí. Let's remember, let's remember that once you finish, continue with the practice of the conversation, ok? Okay, teacher. Nice. Are you go, guys? ¿Cómo vamos? En la copa de letra. Ah, okay. Como no podemos compartir feature, eh, hemos agarrado 5 y 5. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure, it's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Is you can, can. Uh, you, you can, can. Uh -huh. you can go there 
by four. That's a lot. Yeah. Ahora, yo sé de letter B, you letter A. Okay, excuse me. How can, how can I get to the airport? Airport. Airport. Well, the airport is very far away. Far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Uh, I'm going to the drive, but it need to rent a car. Is there a Teacher, yes. solo esas dos actividades que están en, en pantalla ahorita vamos a hacer, ¿verdad? Right now, yeah, because then we're going to check that and then we're going to come back again y vamos a hacer otras que están más abajo. Ok, gracias. But if you want, you can start with that. Pero si gusta, comencemos con esa. Dice, mire... Pair work, write the name of three different places around your company, right? For example, puede poner ahí tres diferentes lugares, right? Eh, que estén en el área del lugar donde usted trabaja. Means of transportation, cómo llegar a, tra a, a esos lugares. By car, by bus, by motorcycle, right? Questions. Y ahí. By food. Por ejemplo, can I get to Metro Centro by car? Right? Y la, la respuesta, yes, I can, for example. Right? Así una pregunta dependiendo del lugar que, que vayamos a colocar ahí. Right? Y lo podemos hacer preguntando como qué medio de transporte usarían para llegar ahí. Ok. O sea, siempre la pregunta siempre sería quién I go to, qué lugar. O, o también, how. How can I get to... Exactly. Okay. Right? Good. So you can keep on track with Guillermo and all that. Se levantó un ratito, Guille. Sí, perdón, Ticho. Es que había dejado unos tenis en el techo. <laughs> ok, no problem. Es que un día de estos los, los lavé, pero al siguiente día los dejé para que tomaran sol y efectivamente tomaron sol, pero luego al mediodía cayó una gran tormenta. Entonces ahí en el trabajo no llovió, para nada estaba soleado y cuando llegué aquí a Santa Tecla estaba todo húmedo, ¿verdad? Y yo dije... Quizás medio pringó un poquito porque se, ya se miraba algo seco y, y cuando Ajá. llego me dice aquí... Cayó una gran tormenta, me dice mi tía. Y yo, a la madre. Y, yo, y, mi, y mis tenis como que era un guacar cuando uno saca agua, agua así. <risa> Ay, no, entonces, no, no, no. Entonces he batallado para que se me sequen. Finalmente se me secaron. <risa> Finally. <risa> Finally. <risa> Amén. Ah, Suele pasar. Especial, especialmente en invierno. Es bueno. Sí, pero es que estaban demasiado sucios ya, man. <risa> oh my god Así necesito lavar varios pares que tengo yo Y que no, no, no he lavado desde hace como dos meses es que co Como los que son como de tela se ensucian todavía más Exactly, o es que tienen la, la suela que es blanca ah. Ajá. Por lo menos esto como del reflejo Como que se le pegó algo un poquito a, a la tela Pero pues que ni modo, ya se ven más limpios bueno, a como andaban antes, dices tú. A como andaban antes, o ya están presentables. Exacto, exacto. Entonces, hay que hacer el punto 5 y solo eso. Eh, por ahora sí, luego vamos a hacer lo demás, pero eso después de revisar eso en la general section, ¿ok? Ok. Ahí voy. So... So it's to blow down to a street to can go three by four. Third by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay. Okay. 
Excuse me, my how can I get to the airport? Will the airport is very far away? You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thank you. Um, I go to drive. Book. I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental you have? Sure, it two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thank you a lot. Okay. All right, very good. I think you have practiced the conversation enough. ¿Pueden bajar un poco más? Go down, go down, go down. All right, now one. Part five. Juan Fuentes, okay. Juan, denme un segundo. Right, ¿qué vamos a hacer ahí? Listen, quiero que me escriban el nombre de tres lugares que estén, que ustedes conozcan. All right. Luego dice, means of transportation. ¿Qué medios de transporte podemos utilizar para llegar a esos lugares? Luego dice, question. Me van a crear una pregunta ahí. Por ejemplo, ahí tienen un ejemplo de ello. Can I go to, y luego mencionan el lugar, by car. Por ejemplo, can I go to Metrocentro by car? Y al, al, al final tenemos answer, respuesta. Yes, I can. Okay. O podemos hacer preguntas con how. How can I get to multiplaza, for example? Right? So, preguntas así. Y luego ahí en the answer, dar una respuesta un tanto corta. Right? En place, ¿qué se va a poner? Lugar. El lugar. Tres lugares. Lugar. Ah, ok. Sí, en el transporte y la pregunta y la respuesta. Exacto. Ok. All right. Yo digo, a ver. Sorry. Sorry. Tenemos, Sorry. Una, tenemos una incertidumbre por acá. Ajá. ¿Qué es parece? Este, con referente al diálogo y salió ahí la interrogante. ¿Cuál es la diferencia, teacher, entre thanks y thank you? No, simple y sencillamente, thanks es una forma más corta de decir thank you. Solo que es más infor es informal. Thank you es muy informal. Y thanks es como la forma más cortita, pero informal. Ok. Uh, creo que en español sí no tenemos ninguna otra forma. Simplemente no, sí, creo que es lo mismo. Gracias. No, 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 no. Yeah. Gracias. Ya. Yeah. Thanks, thanks a lot. Sí, eso sí ya cambia la expresión, ¿no? Thanks a lot viene siendo lo mismo, solo que igual viene siendo un tanto informal porque thanks a lot, mucha, muchas gracias. Es lo que quiere decir. Mm -hmm. Es como, eh, y la forma formal de esa parte sería thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Right? Esa sería como su contraparte formal. Right? Ok. Sí, mandado... esa era la, la duda no. que teníamos. Yeah. Mandado, ese, ese, thanks, mucho... ese thanks mucho... lo, podemos, lo podemos usar con amigos, alguien que usted pues ya considere, right, que, los va, que, que no tiene que hablarle súper, súper mega formal. Pero ya, por ejemplo, a personas como su jefe o a personas que no conozcan, ya es aplicable el thank you. Thank you. Uno es simple okay. y sencillamente thanks. ¿Mm? Nice. Yeah, Solo mean, oyentes tenemos por acá, teacher. Yeah, I mean, I see. All right. Uh, Cristina está en una, en una actividad sí, sí. por parte de la, de, la, de la institución, en Susana. No, es igual, Susana también. Est ellas trabajan juntas. Ah, bueno, sí. Yeah. Ella estaba ahí. Bueno. <risa> no, ellas trabajan en, en, en un colegio y ahorita tienen una actividad que sí o sí tenían que estar ahí. <risa> ah, ok. Okay, yeah, I mean, okay Brian, it. sigamos. Huh? Right. Uh, I don't know if you have... Miren, ya que si han practicado lo suficiente, movámonos al ejercicio 5. Let's go to part 5. Yes, part 5. Right. Ustedes ahí tienen place, means of transportation, tienen 
question y tienen answer, right? Tienen esas opciones. Okay. Okay. En place, me van a colocar tres lugares. Think about three places. Piensen en tres lugares, right? Means of transportation. ¿Cómo llegar a esos lugares? ¿Qué means of transportation podríamos usar? Y en una pregunta, ahí tenemos un ejemplo. Can I go to, por ejemplo, can I go to Metro Centro by car? Y en la respuesta podemos ponerle algo corto. Yes, I can, por ejemplo. O si la pregunta es, how can I get to Multiplaza? Ah, ¿cómo llego a Multiplaza? ¿Cómo dirían ustedes? Go straight. ¿Cuál es el nombre de la calle para llegar ahí? La Chiltipán, no. O la, right. avenida, la avenida okay. de Jerusalén. Ok, uh, an example, right? Take uh, Jerusalem Avenue, uh -huh. right? And you will get to Multiplaza. Así, algo corto, right? In the answer. Okay. Good. Let's do that one, ok? Ok. Perfect. Brian, eh, ¿qué lugar te gustaría? Quiero ver. Así, ¿verdad? Ahí me equivoco. Ah, uh, vas es solo con una S. Aquí sí. Ah, yes. ok. Ok. Ok, una pequeña corrección. Okay. Si usamos can al principio de la pregunta, en la respuesta sería yes, I can. No, yes, I do. Uh, yes. Porque can ahí sería yes, la opción. Ok. Yes, I can. Ajá. Exacto. Uh, no sé si está bien el Tunkovich. <ríe> el Tunkovich. Esta parece ¿no? nombre de marketing. <ríe> <ríe> Entonces, sí, en el medio de transporte. En tren, a ver. <ríe> Ajá. Pongámosle el tren. Y pongamos la pregunta que si viaja en, en tren a, a la playa, entonces pongámosle que no, ¿verdad? La respuesta. Okay. Uh -huh. Nice, nice. Tres cuadras. De. De triplot. Eh. Después de la... How do you go, guys? ¿Cómo vamos? Teacher, ¿qué más? Um... Vamos a hacer la parte de, la... de encontrar las palabras. All right. ¿Ya practicaron la conversación? Yes. Cool. Ahora, yes. all right, let's go down to the part five. Vámonos a la parte cinco. Right? Que está más abajo. Mm -hmm. Right. In there... Vamos a encontrar que dice place, means of transportation, question, uh -huh. answer. En place me van a colocar tres lugares bien reconocidos, lugares que ustedes conocen. Means of transportation, ¿qué tipo de medio de transporte se puede utilizar para llegar ahí? Right? Car, motorcycle, bus, right? In question, me van a hacer una pequeña pregunta, así como el ejemplo que tienen ahí. Can I go to, for example, can I go to El Pital? O, o, okay, o, o el nombre de un restaurante. En, en, en el caso voy a poner, can I go to El Pital by car? Possible answer? Yes, I can. Right? La respuesta corta, sí. Right? Entonces, pongamos tres lugares reconocidos. Right? Que ustedes conozcan. In there. Okay. Good. Ah, o sea, o sea que en Asgore no es como la dirección. No, la respuesta. A menos que usted coloque una pregunta como How can I get to Metro Centro San Salvador? Right. Ahí sí ya la respuesta vamos a dar una dirección corta. 
right? Como take, toma, el, el, y luego el nombre de la calle, right? Uh, okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you. All right. Vaya, Marisa, pues. Lo vamos a. El primero es restaurant. Lo dejamos así o le ponemos un nombre en específico. Mm, Se acuerda de, de un nombre. Este, no sé, un McDonald's. O... Creo que es. Yo, yo creo que sí, podemos usar la misma. Sería. Can I go to. Uh, metro Centro. Mm -hmm. Metro Centro, y aquí le podemos poner by Moro, Moro, Moto, Motocycle, así se dice, teacher. Motorcycle. Motorcycle. Cycle. De la calle, quiero ver. Y la vez, password. Mm -hmm. La ¿Alguien? calle, ¿cómo se llama la calle? La cis... No, no sé. No, no. ¿Está Boulevard de los Héroes o la, la 25 Avenida? ¿Eh? No, mejor Boulevard de los Héroes. Ah, va, porque está en la 25 Avenida Norte. 25 Avenida Norte, in front, next to the, how do you say, ese hotel. Uh, no, sería el hotel ese que no es el intercontinental. Sí, pero entonces sería next to the next to the hotel. Next... In... No. Ahí queda no, no, no es a la par, tendría que ser across the street al cruzar la calle del, del hotel, porque next to es a la par, creo, no. Ah, sí, es cierto. Across the street. Ajá. Ajá. Va, pero. Ordenémosla. Sería, eh, can I go to the metro centro by motorcycle? Uh -huh. Sería, y, uh, se, está bien así, teacher, I get at, uh, I get at Boulevard de los Héroes, ¿verdad? Yes. Across the street, the hotel intercontinental. ¿Está bien algo así? Eliminemos, eliminemos el I. Solamente get to, get to, luego el nombre de la calle. Get to a boulevard. There is... Mm -hmm. Los héroes Boulevard sería. Héroes Boulevard. Al revés sería el contrario. Uh -huh. Los Boulevard. Across the street. Hotel Intercontinental. Algo así. Hotel Intercontinental o Intercontinental Hotel is. Is. Across the street. Two hours, Boulevard. It's entonces get to Boulevard Héroes. Héroes, ajá, Héroes Boulevard. Mm. Yeah. No, pero, creo que me comió una letra. Pero es Get to Boulevard Héroes. ¿Cómo lo puedo poner? Después sería Hotel Intercontinental is across the street. Mm -hmm. Así. Yes. Ah. Ok. That's the way.
Y la otra, ¿qué lugar ponemos, Juan? A ver. Uno conocido. Uh, ¿El puerto? Ah, Plaza Mundo. El, Soya. el puerto. Ah, mejor. El puerto. Mejor plaza. <ríe> We finished, teacher. You finished it here? All right. Yes, teacher. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I mean, you're very fast on this. Good. Yeah, ustedes por ser los primeros en haber terminado, creo que con ustedes sí podría avanzar en esta parte acá. Right. Let's go to the part six. Vámonos a la parte seis. Right. This one is even easier for you guys. What are you going to do there? Básicamente lo que me van a hacer ahí es completar las oraciones usando get o go, right? En algunas ocasiones ambos pueden ser posibles. There are six sentences in there, right? Try to complete them. Okay, teacher. All right, nice. Finish, teacher. You finish? Finish. Mira, solo que teníamos una duda. Uh -huh. eh, como usted nos dijo que en Kai, can I go to. Bueno, la respuesta sería yes, I can, ¿verdad? Yes, I can. Can. Yes, I can. can. Yes, I can. Pero no sé si al final es, cor es correcto, no, I can. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes, and no, I can't. Good. Go down. Okay. Bajemos. A la siguiente. Yeah, part six. Ah, okay. I want you to complete those sentences. Esos espacios quiero que me los completen usando get o go, oh, dependiendo go. de la situación. Okay? Okay. Nice. Okay. Okay. Alex y Sofía, ¿cuándo yo to work for my car? Creo que aquí es go. ¿Are you finished, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Good. Go down to the part six, please. Uh, part six. In your manuals. Let's go down to the part six. You got it? Right. What are you going to do there, guys? You are going to read those sentences and you have to choose. And complete in the spaces in blank. With get mm -hmm. or go, depending on the situation. Remember, get is like when you are in the place and go is like when you go from one point to another, right? Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Thanks. No. Una parada estratégica. No sé, digo. O, o... Can I go to Plaza Mundo by bus, verdad? Así dijimos. Okay. By okay. bus? All right. The answer might be yes, I can. Igual, cuando hay preguntas así, no se complica mucho, porque ahí la, la pregunta es, es cerrada. Yes, I can or no, I can't. Uh... Ah. Yeah. Entonces sería, yes, I can. Exactly. That's the answer. Mm. <laughs> Le vamos a poner un montón. Eh? <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Le vamos a tomar dos buses para llegar ahí. <laughs> But exactly. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Are you, are you guys about to finish? Ya van a terminar. Yes. Yes. Porque necesito que se muevan para las seis. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
eh, lo notaste al Brian, ¿sí, verdad? Sí, yes, I can. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, what are you going to do in part six? Listen, okay. in part six, what you are going to do is just to complete the spaces in blank, I mean the sentences, with get or go, depending on the situation, right? En algunos casos, ambas pueden ser posibles. Okay? Jeremy. So, let's do it. Okay. Okay. Vaya. Vamos, Brian. <laughs> uh, second, Alex, Sophie, how do you to work Sophie by car? Um, uh, go, is... creo que sería. That's why. Uh, sí, yes, go. Go to work, Sophie by car. The trainer is going to to the production plan after the meeting. Um, get, to get, get. Uh -huh. going to get to Shiva, get, so, yes, get, get. Excuse me, how can I to the bus station? Go, yes. Yeah. How can I get mm, mm, now? For I think it's get 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 this. Yes. How can I yeah. get to ah uh, sí sí. Que está diciendo cómo está preguntando cómo, cómo llegar. Puedo llegar. Uh -huh. Correcto. I get the bank is really near. Eh, el banco a ir a la estación de autobuses uh, yo, yo creo que aquí es Entonces, que... Eh, como quiero ver para especificar un medio de transporte y acá es llegar a un lugar. Entonces ahí sería get, ¿verdad? En, en sí. get. En no, 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 en la 4, en la 4 es get. En la 4 es get. Uh -huh. Porque, o sea, como ahí está especificando un lugar, llegar a, cómo llegar a un lugar, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo puedo ir a la estación de autobús? Es get. Okay. Uh -huh. Creo que en la segunda también es que. En la segunda. No, en la segunda. En la, en la cinco. En la five. En la cinco ahorita, ahorita. ¿no? Eh, el banco. Sí, el banco. Is going to call. El banco está muy cerca. I go to the hotel. Mm. Quiero ver el, el concepto. Ahí está todo. Man. Más que todo la cesta, pero uh -huh. estemos bien seguros. En el montés. Get my food. I'm going to call you when I get to the hotel. Ajá. También iría que. Bye. 
Yes. Yes, teacher. Ah, nice, 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 nice. Right. Four minutes are left. I think at least for the practice of the conversation, it's going to give us time. Let's go back to the main session, okay? See you there, guys. Okay. Okay. So everybody's just coming back. Guys, at least the conversation I would like with to practice. Uh, I mean, I would like to practice or to listen to you guys, right? And uh, the rest of the exercises, we're going to let them for tomorrow to, to be checked, okay? So I'm just going to spread this and I just want with to practice the conversation, the short conversation that we got there. And tomorrow we're gonna check the other ones, okay? All right, uh, this part. So Maritza, help me out practicing this one with the person that you were doing uh, the activity, please. Well, teacher. Who were you working with? You work with Marvin, right? Marvin, yes. All right, cool. Help me out practicing the short conversation. That's the only thing that we're going to be doing. And tomorrow we're going to check the other ones, okay? Okay. Nice. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thank you. Ooh, I'm going to drive but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure, it's to block down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Okay, very good. Thank you, Maritza and Marvin. Now, uh, Brian and Juan. Okay, Brian, come on. Um, excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Um, I go to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near here? Sure. Is to block down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. Está muteado, teacher. Sorry, man. I was talking to myself. Thank you to you both, guys, Brian and Juan. Now, Rosalie. Yes, teacher. Guillermo. Yeah. Yes. Let's go. I, be I begin in Guillermo. Excuse me, how can I get to the airport? Guillermo. Yes, I'm ready. The speaker B in the conversation. You read that already, Guillermo. Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Thanks. Oh, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a, is there a car rental near here? Sure. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. Thanks a lot. There you go. Thank you to you both. 
You did it excellent. Now, Evelyn. Okay. Uh, excuse me. How can I head to the airport? Who are you working with, uh, Evelyn? Uh, Jacqueline, Ivon. All right, Jacqueline, you there? Okay. All right. ¿Quién inicia? Evelyn started already. Ya comenzó, de hecho, Evelyn. Sé que yo tengo otro mundo. Wait, the iPod is very far away. You can buy taxi or you can drive. Okay, thanks. Oh, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental near her? Yes. Sure. It's the blue don't don't see a street. You can go three by four. There by thanks four. A lot. All right, thanks a lot. It says okay, very nice guys. I think it was the last pair, right? Creo que era el último. ¿Hay alguien que me, me ha quedado sin participar? Someone that has not participated in here, guys? No, I think it was the last group. Creo que eran los últimos. All right, guys. Let me see. I'm going to stop sharing this. And tomorrow we will continue with this, all right? At least the checking of the exercises that we just did, but we didn't check. That it was then the following exercise, the puzzle and uh, the exercise six. But we're going to do all that tomorrow. Guys, listen. Inclusive para los que están de oyentes, si me pueden escuchar, para mañana sí los quiero a todos, right? Recuerden <laughs> que va a ser el último día y, y tenemos que hacerlo de la encuesta de satisfacción. Y si todavía no han terminado las tareas, please, traten de terminarlas, right? Asimismo, el exam, el final exam, right? Recuerden que básicamente ya terminamos mañana Y así, pues, ya quedamos libres, por así decirlo, ya esperando nada más el inicio del módulo número 4, right? And you, got, you don't have to go through that stress que posiblemente le estén llamando para que termine uh, ya sea las tareas o algo adicional, right? So that was my idea, right? Good. So I don't know, guys, if you have any questions related to the topic that we have been discussing. No sé si hay preguntas, dudas sobre el tema que hemos estado viendo. No, no hay una duda. Al momento de usar get, ¿en qué es? ¿Es para conseguir o para llegar? No, es que vaya, si nos referimos a algo que no sea un lugar, Jacqueline, lo podemos utilizar como conseguir u obtener. Por ejemplo, usted puede decir, I mean, I get money. From my work, I mean, yo obtengo dinero de mi trabajo. Ahí es obtener, right? So in that case, ya no es como llegar. Ahora bien, pero si usted dice, I get to work early, ah, llego al trabajo temprano. Entonces aquí ya estamos mencionando un lugar. Si usa get más un lugar, el nombre de un lugar, entonces significa, ya no, ya get no significa conseguir, sino Llegar. Ah, ok. I see. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's the way. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and pass the attendance list just to start, uh, just to finish. Let me see. Adi Beatriz. All right. I don't know if Adi got connected. Give me one second, guys. No, she didn't get connected. Ana Cristina. All right, yeah, Ana, sí. Present teacher. Okay, cool. Brian Aldair. Present teacher. All right, Carlos Antonio. Curiosamente, ahora ningún Carlos se conectó. Carlos Enrique, tampoco. Let me see. Claudia Marcela. No, no even Claudia. Doris Alejandra. Present. Okay, excellent. Evelyn Karina. 
present, teacher. All right, Graciela Saraí. There was Graciela. All right, yeah. Uh, Graciela present, dice, in your yes. chat. Yeah, I mean, I just saw the message. All right. Uh, Guillermo Eduardo. Present, teacher. Okay, good. Irma del Tránsito. Let me see. Give me one second, guys. I think Irma got something from the class. El inicio de la clase. Uh, Jacqueline Ivonne. Present, teacher. All right, perfect. Juan Carlos. I am here, teacher. All right, good. Katia Maria. Katia, Katia. I don't see her. All right. Uh, Kenya Maricela. I am just there. Maritza Elizabeth. Present. All right, good. Marvin Alexander. Present. Okay, excellent. Pedro Rigoberto. Right, so he's there, but probably he's working. Rosalie Yvonne. Present. Okay, very nice. Uh, let me see who else. Susana Carolina. Right, so Susana is busy and uh, Teresa. Present teacher. Okay, nice. And Teresa Noemi. Present. All right. Teresa, can we stay for a moment uh, for the feedback, the individual feedback? Yes, ma'am. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Le tocaba a Susana, pero Susana ahorita está ocupada. Creo que él me va a dejar con ella mañana, okay? Y yes, así usted se queda ahora. There you go. So, guys, see you tomorrow in the last video conference of this module. I hope you have a wonderful night, okay? Bye bye, guys. Okay. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you, you guys. Good night. All right, good. So, Teresa, this time it's basically just for you, right, to ask any question or doubt that you can have, right, related to this class or the previous classes, right? Este tiempo es para aclarar cualquier duda, pregunta que pueda tener con relación ya sea a esta clase o clases anteriores. Gracias, teacher. Pero creo que, creo que todas las preguntas se las he ido haciendo. De la clase. Perdón. No, I mean, that's okay. And that is really nice because uh, you clarify any kind of doubt in the moment. That is nice. Sí, sí. Creo que el, al principio solo tenía como conflicto con el uso del, del going to. Uh -huh. Y le preguntaba si eso se podía usar. Eh, como el de estoy haciendo. Ah, ah, era la diferencia como el voy a hacer y el estoy haciendo. Uh -huh. Creo que eso fue como lo más, lo que más me, me generó conflicto, pero ahora uh -huh. lo comprendo. Uh -huh. I mean, that's excellent. That's really nice. Eh, what about with the platform? Are you, uh, have, have you been doing the homework? Sí, he estado haciendo las, las tareas. Quiero ver Creo que voy por la 18. No sé. Eh, uh -huh. Sí, por ahí voy. Es que hay días en los que no me he conectado. Ah, ajá. Ajá, ajá. Y a mí me he checking that. Let me see. Sí, teacher. De hecho, me han estado llamando. Sí, sí, estoy viendo que. Estoy es que lo que pasa es que me cambiaron de, de puesto. Entonces, todo eso vino a complicar un poco todos los horarios y mañana no voy a no sé si voy a poder estar también porque eh, mañana es el cuarto aniversario de, de lo del gobierno y tenemos que andar en eso también ah, really uh -huh. 
ya me imagino que movido va a ser, right? Pero igual, aunque tal vez no pueda estar mañana, pero sí, digamos, sería bueno que en un espacio, ya sea mañana uh -huh. o el día siguiente, para poder hacer la encuesta de satisfacción. Sí, bueno, de hecho la iba a hacer ahora, pero bueno, se dijo que, que, que era mañana. Uh -huh, preferentemente mañana. Es que el detalle está en cómo se tiene que enviar una captura de pantalla al grupo con el nombre completo, uh -huh. right? eh, cuando ya se haya finalizado la encuesta. Uh -huh. Así que, all right, in your case, creo que si no la puede hacer mañana, right, hágala el día siguiente eh, en el transcurso del día, right, y manda la captura. Está bien, teacher. Ajá, y cuando la vaya a hacer, si tiene alguna duda con respecto a la, al llenado del, de la encuesta, eh, puede escribir al grupo o puede escribirme a mí a través de WhatsApp y yo le voy a ayudar. Gracias. Eh, sí, a mí me hicieron llegar las indicaciones, creo que no. Ah, sí, creo que inclusive... Pero igual, de todas maneras, no... Ajá, sí, no, no es más no. ahí que cualquier cosa, right eh, creo que igual en las indicaciones como que va un video adjunto de cómo llenarla. Uh -huh. sí. Ajá, entonces ahí nos podemos guiar con respecto a esa información y pues si en algún dado caso hay alguna duda con respecto a eso, right, uh, me lo manda en, en, una, en un mensaje y yo lo estoy okay, aclarando. Ok, está bien. Gracias, teacher. Right. Gracias por el tiempo. No se preocupe. That's que... what we are here for. Gracias. Creo que nos quedamos hasta acá, ¿verdad? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be into here, right? Y pues, si se puede, <laughs> see you tomorrow, ¿ok? Sí, ok. Gracias, buenas noches. Good night. Bye, bye. All right, so basically, uh, the topic for today, it was uh, the uses of go and get. Remember, go is mostly used when you move from place A to place B, the movement, right? Like for example, if you say, I go to work every day by car, for example, you, you mention a means of transportation. And get is mostly emphasized in the idea of arrival to the place. Like, for example, if you say, I get to work at 8 a.m., right? That is like translated into Spanish, like, llego a trabajar a las 8 a.m., right? So basically, in that case, that's the way how we can differentiate go from get, right? So that was part of uh, what we were doing uh, during the class, the students were doing some practices, and tomorrow we will continue with that. So let's see you in, in another video conference.